question. My name is Kaiser Raza. I'm from India. One of my friends who buys and sells cars asked me to invest 10 lakh rupees in his business. He's a pious Muslim. I asked him how much profit he will provide me and he said on an average rupees 26,000. But in case if there is no business, sometimes he will provide me 13 or 14,000. But mostly he will give me an average of 26,000 rupees per month. I want to know is it halal or haram? I am very confused. And in this lockdown, I lost my job as well. So I am really in need of this profit right now. But if you suggest it is haram, I will take my money back. While doing business, a Muslim should look for few things to identify whether the business is haram or halal. One of the things is to check whether the core activity of that business is haram or halal. And we know that selling and buying of cars, it is perfectly halal. Buying and selling of cars, buying a car and you add some profit and sell it, it is perfectly permitted. The thing should be noticed or should be taken care of is that while buying and selling of cars, you should not take money from the bank that will be riba. You should not involve a conventional bank in the buying or selling. If you involve a conventional bank in buying or selling of the car, that becomes riba based and it is haram. And I'm sure that since he's taken money from you, so he will not be involving any conventional bank. So if he buys and sells cars and doesn't involve conventional bank in it, it is permitted. The third factor to be noted is that there should not be any other haram things involved. While buying and selling of cars, he should not tell lies, he should not cheat, he should be honest, he should tell the fact. He cannot, while buying and selling of cars, but naturally they may be used cars. While doing that, he should not cheat the person, he should not hide the defects of the car. These things would be not permitted. He should be honest and just and if he in involves himself in buying and selling of cars, doesn't involve himself with a conventional bank, doesn't involve in riba, and he sees to it that he's honest and he's truthful and doesn't involve in any of the haram activity, then the business becomes halal. So this business per se where you have invested, if all what I said is applicable, then the business is halal. Now coming to the main question that he is giving he is giving you a rough estimate on how much will you make profit and that is permitted. But he cannot say that every month I will give you a fixed amount. You give 10 lakh rupees and every month if I give you a fixed amount of 26,000 rupees, then that becomes zirba. He cannot give you a fixed amount every month on the amount you have invested. He can tell you the approximate amount you will get. And better would be, and he rightly said that if he makes, if he business doesn't go well, he will give you less profit. That's perfectly fine. That's how business is done. But better would be that if you write all this down in a contract, as Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse number 282, that put it down in writing and take two men as witness amongst yourself. In this writing, if you mention the percentage of profit as fixed, that would be better. That means since he's taking 10 lakh rupees from you and he's the one who is taking all the pains and, and buying and selling, you have only put your money. So there should be a profit sharing. He can say that since you have put the money and I am doing the major work, let's share 50-50. Or he may say, I will give you 60%, I'll take 40%. Or he may say, I will give you 70%, I'll take 30%. This, if it's preferable, it should be written down in writing. Now, whatever we profit that is earned by the money invested by you, so much percentage of profit will go to you and the balance will come to me because I'm managing the business. This is the best rather than leaving it haphazard and keeping on changing uh, the percentage. You can keep a fixed percentage of profit. The amount will keep on fluctuating. But the amount cannot be fixed. The percentage of profit can be fixed. The amount will keep on fluctuating because he may make a profit of sometime 50,000 rupees, 
If we say 50 50, then what will get 25 percent? If we say 60 40, you will get 30,000, he will get 20,000. So the percentage can be fixed, but the amount will keep on fluctuating. So if all these things are taken care, then the business is halal, you can continue with it, but preferably write it down so that there is no dispute in future, as Allah says in the Quran, sorry, Baqarah chapter 2, verse number 282.